A Fox 2 follow up now. This Alton sinkhole looks unreal and it's getting bigger, or is it? It could be an illusion in Illinois. Fox 2's Caroline Petty has the new details on this pit and how the community is looking to tackle that challenge. So many questions remain unanswered around how the mysterious sinkhole formed at Gordon Moore Park at the end of June. Alton Mayor David Goines was preparing for the weekly city hall meeting when we went to his office on Monday. But a representative of his said that once they have more information, which is currently out of their hands, then they'll be able to look at all the different ways to move forward. But about those rumors that the sinkhole is getting bigger, officials reported that the sinkhole is the same size as it has always been, the debris from the original collapse is just continuing to settle underneath. Illinois Congresswoman Nikki Budzinski told Fox 2 in a statement, I've been working with colleagues on both sides of the aisle to see what we can do from a federal perspective to identify risks in our communities and address them. I'm looking forward to meeting with the Mine Safety and Health Administration about the situation in Alton and plan to introduce legislation on this issue very soon. The Alton sinkhole and the closure of the Belleville, Illinois Ruler Food Store due to mine subsidence in September 2023 catalyzed Representative Budzinski to advocate for this stronger legislation. While the total economic impact and reasons for why this happened still hang in the air, Alton City pushes on, though the negative social impact is undeniable as local soccer and football teams are still left without a field or the funds to play somewhere else. Us having a home field gives, uh, it gives access to grandma and grandpa being able to come out and see them play and them having a place that they can claim ownership to. It's important that we make sure that we're able to do that for them. The Alton Renegades still need around $10,000 to rent another home field in order to remain legitimately registered within their league. Money that Coach Davis says is still way out of the team's reach. We do have links to their GoFundMe. If you do wish to support these young athletes, just visit fox2now.com and search for this story. Reporting from Alton, Caroline Petty, Fox 2 News.